Hey, it's Kyler with FollowHook. We're talking about project broadcast templates. It's going to be short and sweet, and you're going to love them. Trust me. So we all know what a template is. If you're thinking about like a Word document, a template simply has pre-formatted design and maybe even text elements that save you time when composing that document. Well, the same thing is true for project broadcasts. So let's jump right in and take a look at templates. So I'm signed into my project broadcast in the web interface. And if you look for the document icon, for me it's over on the left, and click on that, it takes you to the templates area. Simply clicking the plus allows you to add a new template. And I'm going to do a quick example. I'm just going to do a basic like business card template that I could use for quick responses to people. So I just named it business card. It's an internal name for me only. And then the message is just very simple. Now one thing I want to point out to you about this message, if you watched the earlier lessons, I put my URL surrounded by text. Remember, you never want to put a URL at the beginning or the end of a text message, right? So off that side point, this is a basic template. If I were to save this, then I have this template here, and then if I were composing a message, uh, like scheduling a broadcast message or building a text campaign, I could use that template. I've got a chat open here, and if I click that same document icon on the bottom of the chat, I can select this template, boom, and it puts it in there for me. Nice, right? I could also add an image to a template so it automatically pulls an image in so you don't have to browse for that on your computer, on your phone, every time you want to do it. You know, things like that that just are going to save you a lot of time. And let's look at how you edit a template once you've saved it. So click back on templates and then click on your template. I only have one. And then over on the right, just click the blue pencil. And then, for example, that image I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and add that by clicking the blue paperclip, add an image of me, and then save. Now if I go back to the chat, choose the template again, I've got the image. And then obviously when you pull a template into a message, you can always continue to edit it there. You don't have to use exactly what you had before. Another way to make a template better is if I were to use a dynamic field. So let's edit this again. And instead of just saying, hey, this is Kyler, I'm going to say, hey, and then insert a dynamic field as we learned about in another lesson. I'm going to use a first name. And so now it's going to say, hey, their first name, this is Kyler, blah, blah, blah. Go ahead, save that. And now back in the chat, I'm going to delete that text that I didn't send. And if you want to delete an image, just click on it. Okay, so template, boom. You get it. That's how a template works. Very easy to understand, and you can see how they can save you time. But here's how they can save you a lot more time than you may have thought about. And Jake is the one that pointed that, this out in his training. He's the founder of Project Broadcast. Look at templates as building blocks. Example, let's say I have a general intro message with a picture of me and a message where I'm just introducing myself and what I'm about. Well, I might use that quite often. If I hard code that into a campaign, I can't reuse that in another campaign. But if I design that as a template, then when I'm building a campaign, I can go and grab that template. And then if I'm scheduling a broadcast message, I can again go and grab that same intro template. So you see how that can save me a lot of time. So if you have content that you're going to be using in various ways with different people in your business, build it first as a template. So hopefully I'm conveying the importance of that correctly so that you understand how that can save you boatloads of time in the future. And as we get into lessons about campaigns, I think it'll become more clear. So that's really templates in a nutshell. We showed how to edit a template. If you want to delete a template, simply go back to templates and then click the three blue dots in the top and click delete template. And then it's gone. If you have any questions about templates, just go to support.followhook.com. Thank you for being a FollowHook customer and I'll see you in another lesson very soon.